this is something I'm very excited to talk about, and it's a little bit lighter of a of a story. Uh, we have some alternatives to burials that I think are very fucking cool um, and can also help like restore the environment, which I think is fair, right? Uh, as much as as much as human beings that live on this planet are wasteful and have created, um, you know, all of these like we, you know, fossil fuels that are degrading the environment. We have caused the extinction of plenty of species. We're burning the rainforest as Jair Bolsonaro and Brazil is doing. I think having a uh, renewable, biodegradable way to give back to the planet after we after we uh, shed our mortal coil is uh, is pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So one of the ways is this company called Recompose. It turns human beings after they pass away into compost, which then gets turned into soil. And it's all done very scientifically. Uh, the article I read was it was awesome. And they talk about how they keep things at 131 degrees Fahrenheit uh, so that, it you know, as they rotate, it gets rid of pathogens. It gets rid of, uh, like, E. coli-based bacteria so that the soil will not be contaminated as much as it is. Um. And then the microbes can do their jobs of breaking down, you know, organic particles and things of that sort. Now, the cost for something like this is about fifty five hundred dollars, which is a lot of money. Um, but uh, that is still roughly, I believe, half that of the average funeral costs, uh, because the funeral industry is b fucking bananas. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so expensive it's so crazy um there there's a there's a book i need to read i think it's called like the business of death or or, or something along those lines that somebody suggested to me and this notion is just fascinating me and the more i see like alternative ways uh that that go you know the, to to burying people in a cemetery and things of that sort like the more i'm like yeah that sounds awesome i hope by the time i'm done you guys can make this more affordable for fucking poor people <laughs> because i would love this this sounds so fucking cool like to be composted and get turned into soil and like give back to the planet after you've shed your i think this is such a great idea um you know it is a little out of out of my price range and uh, it, like I, we would have to do a GoFundMe to to make this happen. <laughs> it, it really, like, there there would be a lot of GoFundMe's for for that. But here's the thing: like, this isn't even um, this isn't even like the first of these ideas, right? The the composting idea. It's not it's not the first one. The UK has actually been doing it. Uh, they what do they do? They they've been uh, burying people in uh, biodegradable sacks. And, you know, they put them in the ground, it, uh, it, it the, the, the sack will biodegrade and then the human being will, will, will get absorbed into the soil. Uh, and, and you can take it to the next step, which is what this company, I believe it's called Capsula Mundi does, where they plant a tree. They put you in a nitrogenous biodegradable sack and uh, that sack breaks down and then your body breaks down into the soil as well. And you, all of those nutrients are used to enrich the soil and and make a tree. So in your death, you can become a tree. And I think that's fucking awesome. I would want to be a tree. That'd be kind of great. I'd be so I'd be so down for that. And not only that, but like you're helping the environment, right? Like, and then you get, and then we can we can start getting you know moving away from the antiquated uh, cemeteries, which. By the way, there's way more cemeteries uh, in this country than people think. Like when I was driving around and I was like, there are way the fuck more cemeteries than I thought. I was like, this is not how much how much real estate we've used for cemeteries. Right. So which is all part of the, the funeral costs. So you have you have the burial plot you have to buy a piece of land. You have to buy the casket. You have to buy all the dressings. You have to get the embalming. You have to pay the funeral home. So all of that is like, this is added cost after cost after cost. Um, recompose, what they do, what they do is, um, it's the cost of transporting the body and the cost of materials. Uh, and I think there's probably a little bit of a markup there as well, but you know, even it's and you can pay a little bit more if they're like if you're outside of the transport range. 
but I think this is a great idea. This is like a really, uh, really cool way we can move away from from cemeteries, um, and and you know, turn cemeteries into a place where we can build homes for the homeless and solve that problem. Now, now, now we've taken down two birds with one stone, right? Like we can start helping the environment by either composting or using this biodegradable grow a tree thing. Uh, and let's get rid of cemeteries and build homes for, for homeless people. I think this is, this would be a genius idea. Sure. Yes. We might have to deal with the poltergeist situation every once in a while. Uh, but you know, that gives some priests something to do is, you know, they, they could, you could just have a priest live on, uh, on what used to be a cemetery. And every time there's like a poltergeist thing, it's like, I'll go, I'll, I'm, I'm coming. I'll let me get my beads and cross. And I, I watched the exorcist yesterday. So I know the Latin phrases now, you know, I'm sure we'd have to deal with that, but I feel like this is a really cool idea. <laughs> uh, I would love to do that. I would love to. I would love to become a tree. That would be so fucking cool to me. Um, so I hope that I hope that in ten years we can fucking make this shit happen, uh, and it would be affordable for for everybody. But I thought this was a cool little uh, fun way to end end our show tonight. Uh, I'm going to look at some uh, tonight today. Uh, Holly, you're saying cremation for me. I thought about cremations too until I learned about this becoming a tree thing. Uh, Aiden, I love this. Yes, I do too. I, I saw the story. I think I think Jay, uh, our, our mutual friend Jay Gunn might have posted this. And I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. We're doing more of this. This is awesome. Uh, the funeral is a pretty toxic business. Absolutely. It is It is a very, very uh, toxic business. The embalming fluid alone is like... I mean, that would just, if we, if we embalmed people and did this biodegradable thing, you would, um, you'd poison the planet so much quicker. Uh, now they are saying like, I have fillings in my mouth, um, cause I love sugar. Uh, and, uh, so I have a bunch of fillings in my mouth. Uh, they did say like the fillings can cause some problems, but I don't see why you can't just pluck out some of the, you know, the teeth that have the fillings. Um, and you're still going to like clean the, you know, sanitize the body and shit. Like it's not, it's not just, all right, chuck them in the dirt. Like it's not one of those plans. Uh, death and illness is a lot of money. That is correct. It's one of the biggest businesses. Uh, this is how I want to go out or a mushroom suit. I'm going to, you're going to have to elaborate on the mushroom suit. You're going to have to elaborate on the mushroom suit. Uh, we were already built on an Asian ancient native burial ground. So yeah, let's repurpose cemeteries for housing projects. Yeah, I think that'd be awesome. And and you're right. We do live on ancient burial ground. <laughs> I did not. I Yeah, that's a very good point, Aiden. That's a very good point. Sarah, thank you for the tip. Uh, I appreciate that. That's awful kind of you. You are a, you're a peach and a half. Uh, I'm going to look at some Rockfin comments. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A dot -H -H com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows the forkful of noodles live virtual comedy shows uh the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website but if you're also on financial stable ground you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation 
or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. You can go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. And I hope to see you at the next video.